adding protein to foods is very beneficial for the profits of that food because consumers tend to spend more money on high protein products. It's perceived as a sort of a high quality or a, a, a highly valuable addition. It is not based on health. It is not backed by science. If you're buying a um, highly processed chocolate bar and it has added protein, it's just a highly processed chocolate bar with added protein. Uh, it does not have health, any health benefits. And a lot of the time, these foods are in fact high risk processed foods. They are not actually healthy. So when we look at the data uh, from across different age ranges, populations, the average US adult gets 0.54 grams per pound, which is plenty, it's more than we need. The classical sources that everyone's aware of are meat, including red meat, processed meat, chicken, fish, eggs, um, things like yogurt, cheese, milk, and then you have the plant protein. So plant proteins include lentils and chickpeas, soybeans, tofu, tempeh, uh, seitan, nuts and seeds, and whole grains are often the unsung heroes in the protein world. Um, when it comes to good quality red meat, it can absolutely be part of a healthy diet, but we also know that very high consumption of red meat is uh, associated with an increased risk of type 2 diabetes, for example. If you swap even just 3% of your protein intake from an animal source to a plant source, you will have a measurable decrease in risk in chronic diet-related diseases. Without any supplements or protein bars or protein ice creams, you're getting enough protein every day just from eating whole foods.